any firearm should only be loaded where the firearm may be safely and legally discharged, and only immediately before intending to use it. Observing the vital four acts and going through the proof procedure is fundamental to ensuring that the firearm can be safely loaded. Remember, prove it's safe. Use the appropriate ammunition. Make sure that nothing comes in contact with the trigger while loading. With the action open, load the firearm by putting the shell in the chamber. Firmly close the action. When ready to fire, move the safety to the off position. It is now ready to be discharged. Be sure of your target and beyond. This shotgun was loaded and discharged at an indoor firing range under strictly controlled conditions. The discharge of shotguns at any indoor range is not recommended. It was performed here to illustrate correct loading procedure and to provide an example of the shot spread and pattern. This is a bolt-action rifle. A bolt-action rifle has a single barrel and may or may not have a magazine. To prove the bolt-action rifle safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. With the safety on, remove all cartridges. This bolt-action rifle is equipped with a detachable magazine. Pushing the magazine release allows the magazine to be removed. With the bolt-action open, Observe the chamber for ammunition. Verify that the feeding path is empty. Examine the bore. Even with the firearm completely unloaded, muzzle control and correct finger placement are an essential practice in firearm safety. The action is operated with the bolt's handle, shown here closing the action. The three-way safety on this particular rifle is a wing type. The forward position is safety off, ready to fire and the rear position is safety on. Now the bolt cannot be moved. In the middle position the firearm cannot be fired but the bolt can be removed from the action. The data stamp on this rifle shows that the correct ammunition is a 22 long rifle cartridge. These are rimfire cartridges. Unlike center fire cartridges, data information is not contained on the head stamp. To match the correct ammunition to this firearm, refer to the information printed on the ammunition box. This is a lever action rifle. A lever action rifle has a single barrel. Most, such as this example, have tubular magazines and can shoot several times between reloading. To prove the lever action rifle safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. With the safety on, remove all ammunition by cycling the action several times. Observe the chamber to check that no cartridge remains in it. Verify that the feeding path, including the tubular magazine, is clear. Examine the bore. The bore light is placed in the chamber to help check that no obstructions are present in the bore. If the barrel is clear, light will pass through. Notice the rifling in this particular firearm. The bore light also serves as a blocking device, prohibiting the action from closing. This particular lever action firearm has three safeties, the cross bolt, half cock, and the trigger block. First, put on the cross bolt safety. Then place the hammer in the half cock or safety on position. To do so, firmly hold the hammer with your weak hand thumb and pull the trigger. As the hammer moves slowly forward, remove your finger from the trigger. It should stop in the half cock position. If the hammer should slip from under your thumb, the firearm will not fire, 
The cross bolt safety prevents the hammer from hitting the firing pin. This firearm also has a trigger block and will only fire when the lever depresses it. The data stamp on the barrel indicates the ammunition used by this rifle. In this particular example, either 357 Magnum or 38 Special can be used. In this firearm, the longer 357 Magnum chamber also accepts the shorter 38 Special cartridge. Note, however, that a firearm with 38 Special chamber cannot safely accept the longer 357 Magnum cartridge. Correct information about this firearm's ammunition can be found on the ammunition box. To match the correct ammunition to this firearm, refer to the information printed on the ammunition box and the head stamp of the cartridge. This is a pump-action shotgun. It has a single barrel and a tubular magazine, allowing it to shoot several times between reloading. To prove a pump-action shotgun safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. With the safety on, while holding the action release located at the rear of the trigger guard, cycle the action several times to remove all ammunition. Observe the chamber to ensure no cartridges remain in it. Verify that the feeding path, including the tubular magazine, is clear. Use your finger to feel for the follower if necessary. Examine the bore. This particular shotgun has a cross bolt safety at the front of the trigger guard. Pushing the button exposes the safety off position. On this particular firearm, red indicates the shotgun is ready to fire. Pushing the safety button again places it in the safety on or black position. The data stamp identifies the correct name of the ammunition for this 12 gauge shotgun. This pump action shotgun accepts a 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch or 3 inch shell. Only the gauge number is shown on the head stamp. Sometimes the length is shown on the casing of the shell along with information on the size of shot pellets and pellet material. Remember, it is essential that only the ammunition that matches the data stamp be loaded into that firearm. Complete information is written on the box of shells and must be checked with every use. To match the correct ammunition to this firearm, refer to the information printed on the ammunition box and the head stamp and casing of the shell. This is a semi-automatic action rifle. A semi-automatic action rifle or shotgun feeds another cartridge into the chamber from the magazine using energy created by the discharge. To prove this semi-automatic rifle safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. Ensure the safety is in the on position. Remove the ammunition by first removing the rifle's magazine. To do so, push the magazine release button to drop the magazine. Then, open the action by pulling the bolt carrier handle to the rear and holding it in this position. Press the lever at the front of the trigger guard. Release the bolt handle. The action should stay open. Observe the chamber to check that no ammunition remains in it. Verify that the feeding path is clear. Examine the bore visually or by using a cleaning rod with a tight-fitting patch or brush to ensure it is clear. Be sure when pushing the rod into the chamber not to hit the front of the bolt. Doing so could cause the action to close or damage the firing pin hole. The safety on this particular firearm is a cross bolt. A red mark indicates the rifle is ready to fire. Pushing the safety back places it in the safety on position. 
The data stamp on the barrel shows that the correct ammunition for this firearm is 22 caliber LR, or long rifle cartridges. The name of the cartridge does not normally appear on the head stamp of this rimfire cartridge. So, the information on the box of cartridges must be checked to ensure the correct ammunition is used. Although you may not be interested in using restricted firearms, it is important that you know how to prove them safe should you come upon them. This is a single action revolver. Revolvers have cylinders with chambers that can be loaded with additional ammunition, serving the same function as a magazine. In order to prove a single action revolver safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. Remove the ammunition by opening the loading gate. If the cylinder will not turn freely, pull the hammer back slowly until the cylinder can turn. The hammer should stay back. Raise the muzzle slightly and remove the ammunition, if necessary, using the ejector rod. Observe that all the chambers are empty. Verify that the feeding path is clear. Examine the bore by using a cleaning rod with a tight-fitting patch or brush. This is a double-action revolver. Like the single-action revolver, it has a revolving cylinder. In order to prove this double action revolver safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. Remove the ammunition by operating the cylinder release to allow the cylinder to swing out. Operate the ejector rod to eject the cartridges. Observe that the chambers are empty. Verify that the feeding path is clear. Examine the bore. This firearm is a single-action semi-automatic handgun. In a semi-automatic handgun, additional ammunition can be placed in the firearm's magazine. This is called charging the magazine. To prove this single-action semi-automatic handgun safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. And if possible, with your particular firearm, ensure the safety is on. Remove the ammunition by operating the magazine release and dropping the magazine. Operate the slide to extract or eject any cartridge or casing from the chamber. Lock the action open. Observe the chamber to ensure it is empty. Verify that the feeding path is clear. Examine the bore. During our discussion of firearms, we have referred to the rules that apply to each and every firearm. The vital four acts. Let's review them now. Assume every firearm is loaded. Control the muzzle direction at all times. The trigger finger must be kept off the trigger and out of the trigger guard. See that the firearm is unloaded. Prove it safe. To unload a firearm and prove it safe, point the firearm in the safest available direction. Remove all cartridges. Observe the chamber. Verify the feeding path.
examine the bore. Point, remove, observe, verify, and examine. Essential steps to prove a firearm safe.